This is Boxing This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame Boxing promoter Mr. Bob Arum. It goes down Saturday night right here at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Joining me right now before we get to our press conference is Dylan Wanagale, Vice President of Sports Properties for Prudential Center. Always a great time back here in Newark. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Mark. On behalf of everyone at Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment and Prudential Center, we'd like to thank our partners at Top Rank, led by founder and CEO Bob Arum and his world-class staff, for once again bringing a real and spectacular night of World Championship Boxing to Newark, New Jersey. We would also like to thank ESPN for delivering the unique energy of Brick City to a global audience. June was a record-setting month here at The Rock. We kicked off quite literally with UFC 302, the highest grossing event in this venue's 17-year history. We rolled right into 21 additional concerts and special events, making June the busiest month, the busiest June we've ever had. But now the calendar turns into July, and we get to welcome, for the fourth time in his career, Newark's own, the pride, uh, the fighting pride of Newark, the fighting pride of Brick City, Shakur Stevenson. It's always, as always, it's great to have Shakur here, and it's um, just really special for all of us. Uh, sorry. Uh, that being said, as we celebrate, there's a lot of great fighters here. This is a totally stacked card. We'd like to uh, welcome to Prudential Center uh, his opponent, Artem Paragunian the combatants for the Junior Lightweight Championship, Oshaki Foster, and his opponent, Robson Konsi Sao. It's also great to have here Abdullah Mason. Of course, it's great to welcome back for the third time in his young but rising career, Keyshawn Davis, and his accomplished opponent, veteran Miguel Maiduena. Lastly, as we celebrate the birthday of this uh, great nation tomorrow, rest assured the fireworks will continue here on Saturday night. We'll see you then. Dylan, thank, thank you, you so much. much. All right, I'm going to join the, the gentleman here on the chair. As he mentioned, we've got a stack card Saturday night. June might have been exciting here at the Prudential Center, but we are kicking off July with absolute fireworks. No pun intended, as the 4th of July is, is literally tomorrow. Uh, we are brought to you by AutoZone. Get in the zone. DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and see for energy. Energy that hits. Two world titles on the line. Our main event, they're sitting beside me, the WBC Lightweight Championship of the World. The champ, Shakur Stevenson, puts his title on the line against Artem. Harup Union, Artem, welcome. Uh, our co-feature, another world title, the WBC Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. The champ, Shaki Foster, Robson Conceição. And then a lightweight showdown between Keyshawn Davis and Miguel Madueno. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. And lightweight sensation, Abdullah Mason taking on Louis Lebron. Uh, Abdullah, we're going to start with you. Your opponent's not with us today, uh, but 13-0, 11 knockouts. You're facing Louis LeBron Saturday. Are you excited for the step up in competition? Absolutely. You know, like they say, he got as much knockouts as I have fights, so uh, be ready for whatever he's bringing on. And uh, he let his hands go. He coming to win, so be ready for whatever he's bringing, and uh, we're going to do our job like always. You've been in the ring five times in 2022, five times 2023, and now this is your third fight already, 2024. We've all enjoyed watching you grow in this sport. What have you enjoyed the most? Um, I've enjoyed growing with my brothers and my father. You know, every time we step out, you know, um, they have the input and we get, get the job done based off what we see in the gym, what we see in the fighter, and you know, it, it usually comes out how we how we like, and what we see inside the gym, it usually comes out how we see it in the fight. So uh, I've enjoyed just seeing seeing the growth, you know, in the journey, and uh, being alongside my brothers and my father, like I said, um, it's just fun, you know. You talk about the growth in the game, but how, how has the growth within the game uh, been for you? Every fight becoming more and more important and being able to separate training in the gym from the spotlight becoming more and more brighter? Um, we just been focused, you know. Um, it's the same thing, you know, being in the gym, you know, being under those lights, you know, it's, it's to prepare you. So we just been prepared. Every time we step in the gym, we preparing to step under those lights. Dula, thanks for spending time with us. It's great to see you and the family on the card, as always. We'll see you tomorrow on the scale. Thank you.
Moving in uh, one, one stool here. Uh, lightweight showdown, 10 rounds. Keyshawn Davis, Miguel Madueno. The businessman, Keyshawn Davis, 10 and 0, seven knockouts. How special is this week for you to be on such a stacked card? Um, it's always special sharing the card with my brother Shakur, man. Um, we've been doing this since we was kids. We've been talking about this since amateurs. And um, Freak City love you. And this is my third time coming back here, so I just expect, you know, um, the fans to embrace me again as I make that work in church. Miguel, I'm going to turn over to you. Miguel Explosivo, Madueña, 31 and 2, 28 knockouts, a contender at 135. How important is this opportunity to possibly move into title contention for you? Miguel, ¿qué tal? Tienes un gran record, 31 victorias, dos derrotas. ¿Qué es esta oportunidad para ti enfrentar a Keshon Davis? Pues es una buena oportunidad, algo para demostrar de lo que estamos hecho. Hemos tenido nuestras bajas. Esta, estamos para reivindicar nuestro camino y qué más que el nombre de Cachán para ponernos otra vez en, en el nivel del boxeo a nivel mundial. It's an honor to be here fighting Cachán. We we've been up and down, and right now we're doing our best because we want to prove at this level that we belong here. Well, you belong here. You're sitting on the stage, so welcome. It's great to have you here. Keyshawn, you study your opponents. You're a student of the game. He's going to come forward. He's going to be aggressive. He's got power. What do you need to do to keep that zero on your record Saturday night? Same thing I've been doing. Just go in there, have fun, perform. Um, he's a guy that, he's just a style that I've seen so many times, especially in the amateurs. You know you travel overseas. You fight a lot of guys like that. And um, now that I've been going 10 rounds, I get to take my time, dissect this kid, and, um, you know, just go in there, just have fun, really. And, yeah, do what I do. Miguel, coming back to you, he's a top prospect in the division. What do you need to do to walk away victorious Saturday night? Miguel, regresamos contigo. Él es uno de los mejores prospectos en la división. ¿Qué necesitas hacer tú el día sábado para ganar esta pelea? Eh, pues primero que nada, salir con la mano en alto. Este, nosotros venimos buscando el nocao. Él es un gran peleador. Este, lo hemos estado viendo, lo analizamos. Es espectacular. Pero el día 6 de julio nosotros saldremos victoriosos. Our goal to be here is to win this fight. I've been preparing for the knockout. We know he's a good fighter. He's a spectacular. But on July 6th, you will know that Miguel Madueño is is the best fighter. Keyshawn, how does DB3 keep you toe on the line, keeping you focused in the game? all our life together so like it's it's just natural that for the things that we'll be going to camp that we do that we talk about how we study break down opponents and just the energy we bring to the fight you know what I'm saying um the fans love it you know what I'm saying and DB3 Kelvin Keon Davis you know um they my brothers man and they 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 mean the world to me and um they really the one of the reasons why I, I am who I am today the type fighter I am today and um yeah, they, they just mean a lot to me. And um, coming into this fight, you know, my brother Kelvin got a fight, got a big step up fight for him. And um, he's gonna put on a hell of a show as well. He's gonna shock the world as well as when I stop Miguel. And um, I just can't wait to after, you know, we both get our victories that we go back to our family and we talk about how we beat the hell out of our opponents. Miguel Keyshawn, thank you for your time. We're gonna move to our co-feature of the evening. The WBC Junior Lightweight Championship of the World, as I mentioned, two world titles on the line Saturday night from Brick City. The champ Oshaki, Icewater Foster, 22 and 2, 12 knockouts, taking on Robson Obravo Conceição, 18, 2 and 1, nine knockouts. Again, fireworks tomorrow, but fireworks Saturday night as well. Champ, we'll start with you. You put your title on the line Saturday night against a tough opponent. How do you keep the strap? Man, I just go in there and beat me. That's uh. That's the biggest thing. I'm fully healthy, so everybody gonna see a different fighter than what they seen last time I came out. I want to bring in your opponent, Robson Obravo Conceição. Is this your time? Because you've been in this spot before. How do you become a world champion Saturday night? Robson, será que esta tua oportunidade já tiveste nesta situação mais do que uma vez? Como é que achas que vais ficar então? Vais ser o novo campeão mundial este sábado? 
bom, é, as coisas da minha vida nunca foram fáceis e agora a nossa era diferente. Né? No boxe amador eu tive três oportunidades para me tornar campeão olímpico e assim está se sucedendo no boxe profissional. Eu tenho um grande adversário pela frente, muito bom. Porém, esse é o meu momento, me preparei muito, estou muito confiante disso e tenho certeza que no sábado faremos uma grande luta. Well, things in, in my career were never necessarily easy um, in my amateur um, period of my life. I also had three opportunities for in the Olympics to also be the Olympic champion. Uh, I see a similar path um, on my professional journey, but I'm really ready. Uh, and Saturday, I'll be and I'll prove the world that I'm the new world champion. Champ, last time out. Split decision over Abraham Nova. What did you take away from that fight? Because you just hinted at it. You said, hey, last time I was in the ring, it wasn't my best outing, but you know, I learned from it, move on, ready to put on a show. Uh, for me, I just couldn't do what I wanted in that, in that fight. Uh, couldn't move my feet like I wanted, but there's no excuses. I want to go out this time and I'm going to show, show the world because I've been hearing all the talk and I've been hearing all the chatter. I'm going to go out there and show the world that I'm levels above this guy. He's going to come at you. You mentioned uh, in your last interview he's relentless and awkward, and sometimes you don't you don't know where his punches are coming from. How do you prepare for a guy like that? Uh, it's cool. I, I've, I've had a, several fight, uh, a long amateur career, so I've seen that style several times. Um, we had great sparring partners that mimicked him, and you know I, I always had pride in my defense, so we'll figure it out when we get in there. Ready to go. Robson, coming back to you, do you feel there's a little added pressure to come out with the W on Saturday, knowing that you've had this opportunity previously and these don't come along often? Robson, acha que há aqui uma pressão extra para esta luta, já que teve mais do que uma, tecnicamente esta é a quarta oportunidade e sabe que estas oportunidades não acontecem assim tão facilmente? Bom, eu não costumo é, ter essas coisas como pressão em minha vida, e sim como uma motivação motivação a mais em acreditar que eu posso e eu vou conseguir esse cinturão mundial no próximo sábado então sem sem pressão alguma so I, I don't really look at these challenges as pressure but actually as motivation so I'm actually motivated I'm looking forward uh, for this fight and uh, Saturday I'll be the new world champion so no pressure just motivation Shaki sitting on this stage there's a ton of talent here this is a special Saturday night in Brick City how special is it to be a part of this card when you look left and right on this stage and you see who you're sitting amongst as one of the champions on this stage? Man, it's, uh, it's big, man. Uh, 2016, 2017, we all got to, you know, be around each other and, and share a lot of things outside the ring and inside the ring. So, you know, just seeing this on a big stage now, I, I watched this guy come from the, the Olympics, the amateurs, same with him. And we all sharing the card now, man. It's, it's like, you know, life manifests itself. So, you know, I'm enjoying it all, man. Thanks. To, thank you so much for your time, gentlemen. Robson, Oshaki, again, that's the WBC Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. And that's just a co-feature. Our main event, the WBC Lightweight Championship of the World, the champion to my right. Shakur Stevenson, 21-0 with 10 knockouts. The challenger, Artem, the original Harut Yunyan. Uh, thank you both for joining us. Champ, we're going to start with you. It's been one year since we've been here. How special is this place for you? Uh, this place is very special. Um, I appreciate my fans. I appreciate everybody that come out to support in Newark. And um, we're going to put on the show. You were just at the Boys and Girls Club yesterday. We'll get into the fight in a second. I, I just want to bring up community and how special Newark uh, is for us as, as an organization to keep coming back here to the Prudential Center. Uh, Dylan mentioned it, how special it is for the Prudential Center to host your fights here. Talk about home and community and what that day yesterday was like, Boys and Girls Club. Uh, it means everything to me. You got to realize um, when I came up in Newark, I didn't really have like no role model or somebody to come back and um, talk in front of me and uh, get me tickets to big events and stuff like that. So um, my main goal is to show them, show them that I'm right here in front of them. Um, any questions they wanted to ask, I was right there to answer them. And, um, I'm definitely going to be here a lot and keep showing love to the youngins coming up, the next generation. I'm going to bring in your opponent, Artem, 12 and 1, 7 knockouts. First of all, welcome to New Jersey. What does this opportunity mean to you? Thank you very much. I'm uh, happy to be here in uh, New Jersey, in uh, Newark, 
I was born in Armenia and live in Germany. I came all the way up here uh, to fight Shaku Stevenson here in his hometown. And uh, it's a, a big opportunity for me. And I will do my best and uh, show a great fight. You've been in the United States now for a month training. Uh, how have you adjusted? How has camp been preparing for what uh, clearly the, the biggest opportunity of your career to date? Uh, you know, I came to Vegas last year. I, I, I was fighting um, Frank Martin. It was a great fight. I know uh, Frank Martin knows he lost the fight. And I told everybody I, I will be back in the States. And now it's happened. And I'm, I'm, I'm back here. And it, it's a great chance. And I am. Um, did a great um, training camp. I'm well prepared, and uh, I'm I'm ready uh, for this fight. And uh, I know Shaku Stevenson is a is a good fighter. He is a world champion. We we both fought at, uh, at the Olympic Games. He is a silver medalist. I'm bronze medal, and now we fight for the world uh, championship, the WBC. And um, yeah, everyone wants to see uh, Shaku Stevenson lose. Um, many people say he is boring, but it's his style and you know it works and I'm, I'm happy to be here and I want to um, show all, all the fans and all the boxing uh, fans that uh, I can give him a good fight. We're going to bring up that Frank Martin fight in just a little, little bit. Champ, I want to come back to you. He mentioned his camp. You spent uh, your camp in Houston at the J Prince gym. That's uh, instead of choosing Vegas. Was there any reason for the change in the camp location? Uh, yeah, it'd just be a lot of cloud chases in Vegas, but um, fuck them, they don't really matter. Um, I really want to talk about him. Uh, he just said, he, I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that. You trying to uh, act real humble, um, try to butter me up, act like you ain't really coming here to win. Nah, you coming to win, bro. I, I already know. <laughs> I'm on your ass. No, he said he's, he said he's definitely coming to win. Artem, nah, but he talking about he, he don't sound as confident as I thought he would sound. So, you know, um, hopefully uh, he, he's coming to fight. That's all I ask. Are you coming to fight? Some people say I, I should wear running shoes in this fight, but it's just a joke. Uh, I know Shaku. <laughs> that shit was ass. Uh, Shaku Stevens, was no, ass. You, you have to give him respect. Really, many uh, fighters don't want to fight uh, with him. Like Shako once said, they are all ducking. Uh, I think that's right, but I took the opportunity. I want to make this fight happen. He's a good fighter. Give him, give him the respect, the credit he deserves. And of course, it, this is going to be a great, great event, great night. And uh, I want to show the, the fans a good boxing match. You want to respond to that? You want I'm going to just, just take him to a level he ain't never been on. Artem, I want to talk to you about your last fight. Uh, you had mentioned it, you brought it up. You went the distance with Frank. A lot of people thought you did win the fight. There was the knockdown in the 12th round, obviously. But he took a knee. What did you take away from that fight that maybe gives you a little bit more knowledge, experience, moving into a, a title shot here Saturday night? Was you tired? And were you tired? He wants you, to know. You can't compare uh, Frank Martin with Shaku Stevenson. You know, every fight is, is different. Every fighter is different. I, can, I cannot say that the experience I took from Martin fight would give me the best chance to win here in his hometown. You know, this, this is a whole, whole nother uh, fight. What you tell and, and this is a whole nother level. Like Shaku says, he wants to bring me to this level. And I'm happy to be here and fight on this level. And uh, I was a little bit tired, of course, because uh, my preparation was not so good. I haven't, have, haven't done any sparring. But uh, in Germany, it's, uh, it's not like in the USA, you know? But okay, no excuses. I, I took the knee because my eye was hurt. Um, but I think uh, to win a 12 round fight, it's uh, not enough for Frank Martin to win just five rounds. It seems, Shakur, that you know he, he's speaking pretty confidently with who he is as a fighter. What do you need to do Saturday night to really make a statement and, and do what Frank couldn't do? I would just be myself. Um, be myself, come out and uh, show my talent, show my levels. Um, like I said, I think I'm one of the best in the sport of boxing at hit and don't get hit. But um, it's a certain way of doing that, and um, I want to show the fans that 
all that, like moving around and stuff, I really don't have to do. I can sit in the pocket and beat you up too. Was there anything that he did in the Frank Martin fight? Because clearly you watched it that you took away from watching and then put into practice in camp in Houston. Uh, it, like I said, that Saturday night, I can't really tell you the game plan. Um, that will be telling him the game plan. So um, Saturday night, just tune in. It's going to be an um, epic show. We got some great young fighters on the card, and um, I can't wait to display my talent. Artem, one last question for you. Obviously, you've been able to, to see Shakur's work in the ring, and you're very articulate sitting up here with us. You understand the sport of boxing clearly. Uh, you understand opponents, the differences between Shakur and Frank. What do you need to do Saturday that maybe you've never done in your career? Uh, I think I have to do everything I haven't done this, uh, until now. <laughs> because Shakur Stevenson is the WBC world champion. So I have to do everything. You know? Thanks, Arm. What did you say under your breath when I asked him that question? You can put it on the mic. It's all good. Say, run for your life. <laughs> Are you, does that mean you're coming for him? Yeah, I, I'm coming. So, how, so how? I should uh, wear my running shoes? <laughs> yes, wear your running shoes. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right there, unless you got anything else to say, champ. Uh, just tune in Saturday night. It's going to be an amazing show. Listen, it's always exciting to be in Brick City, Newark, New Jersey. And you can see on your TV screens right now the incredible talent sitting on this stage. It's a Saturday night you will not want to miss. Again, we're going to begin at approximately 6 o'clock Eastern on ESPN Plus, and then we move over to the network ESPN. Gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to sit with you during fight week, especially on 4th of July week. I know everybody's busy and have commitments. But again, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss Saturday night, as always. This is boxing, this is top rank. We'll see you, not tomorrow, we'll see you on Friday as we get them on the scale. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Face off, guys. Face off. Face off.